Hey guys, Beast Snappy here. We're in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. You've probably all seen those drone shows where there's heaps of drones in the sky. And we've been given backstage access to one of these shows while they're setting up. And Starlight Aerial Productions are putting on the main drone show for Oshkosh. And look at this, there's hundreds of drones right here getting ready to fly. This is absolutely amazing. And on top of that, you're gonna be meeting the owner and we're gonna ask him some questions. The team are setting up the drones right now. If you look way over there towards the tower, that's the main Oshkosh air show. This is gonna be exciting. I'm with Matt Quinn and he's the owner of Starlight Aerial Productions. This is a serious drone company. Matt does up to 200 shows every year right across America. G'day Matt. G'day. So Matt, how many drones do you actually own? So we have 806 registered with the FAA. So you have 806 drones. How many would typically go up in one show? Every show that we do is different. Yeah. And so it's kind of based on how many drones that we need to accomplish the show that we're producing so like tonight you're going to see a hundred drone show tomorrow night there's going to be hundreds of drones in this wow sky. so it just kind of all depends on what show that we're producing the smallest show that we do is 25 the yep. largest show that we can do is much larger than that with hundreds yeah. of drones so you have hundreds of drones in the sky at one time how do you stop them from actually hitting each other well, the general principle of them not hitting each other and everything and stuff is what we call RTK. So real-time kinetics with GPS. Yeah. So all of our drones are running with nearly 28 to 36 satellites and they're running with like a 0.7 meter precision. So with their programming, they all know where they're supposed to be. And with that, with that RTK telemetry that we're feeding it, it keeps them where they need to be. If you're in the middle of a show and a little bit of a rain shower comes across, not too bad, are you still able to fly? Yes, fly? we're one of the few drone companies that can actually fly in the rain. We've done about four or five shows in the rain this year so far. So I got a little drone at home and it takes me about two hours to charge the battery. So how do you actually charge 806 batteries? So when we're charging for a show, so like this week, we're in the process of charging right around a thousand something batteries this week because we're doing four shows wow yeah so uh, charging all of that and everything and stuff we have about 12 charging stations and we have 12 smart charging stations so it's just around the clock process and everything and stuff mm. um depending on what our show run is a lot of times we have all of these charged prior to even showing up when you do a drone show how do you know what show to put on? Is it the same show every time or do you have to actually program a new show for every different event? Yeah, so we do have some stock shows just like every company, but for the most part and everything, every show is somewhat custom. Uh, even tonight, the show that we're gonna do is custom. Um, so when we look at all of those things, we have a folder file that's developed just for that show. All the shows are developed in like CAD animation yep. and then exported into our flight software. So right now, Matt is actually inside doing all his pre-show checks. For example, checking the weather, checking the height restrictions. And one of the more important parts, he's uploading all the files from his computer to the drones. And there's a massive crowd waiting from the biggest air show in America, Oshkosh. The show starts in about five minutes and they've given me a headset so I can hear what the whole crew's saying at one time. Here we go. Lights are turning on, they're about to take off. Sit back and enjoy the show. 